it's Addie, and today we are watching The Patriot. This video today is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one website platform for building your brand and growing your business online. But we'll get into that a little bit later. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, welcome. Today we're watching The Patriot with Mel Gibson. I almost said Mel Brooks because I've been watching a lot of his movies recently, but that is just not correct. I imagine with this movie, there will be probably a lot of gruesome moments and also probably a lot of heartbreak as well. So I guess I just gotta prep myself for that now. Oh, I do remember when I was younger, this movie was playing in a restaurant that I was at. Um, I don't feel like this is necessarily a good movie to watch when you're eating dinner, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that's just me. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe for more reaction videos and let's get into The Patriot. Okay, let's get this set up. Oh, before watching The Patriot, take this short quiz to proceed to the movie. What? No, this is kind of a long movie, so I'd love to just jump on in. Only three short questions. First, pick a category. Okay, let's do a website template. Building a website is easy with a professional website template with this platform. You can also start a completely personalized website with their new AI guided design system. Okay, I actually know this one. Is it Squarespace? That is correct. Next category. Let's do checkout process. This platform makes checkout seamless for your customers with simple but powerful payment tools. This platform accepts credit cards, PayPal, and Apple Pay. And in eligible countries, you can also offer customers the option to buy now and pay later. Oh, this is easy. Is it Squarespace? That is correct. Final category. Let's do merch. With this platform, you can easily sell custom merch. Design your products and production, inventory, and shipping are handled for you, saving you so much time, money, and effort. Okay, I am the best at this game. Is it Squarespace? That is correct. Now read this statement to camera to continue. Easy. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash addycounts to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Okay, so do I get a prize or something? You now get to watch The Patriot. I mean, I was going to do that anyway. I have long feared that my sins would return to visit me, and the cost is more than I can bear. Samuel Postrider! Oh, oh, you lost your hat. You, ah, music by John Williams. That makes sense. I was just thinking, ah, oh, this music sounds so epic. Father, a post rider. Did you finish planning the South Field? More than half. The he does not care about really the rider. into the day, don't they? Oh. <laughs> You've been caught. Thomas, wait for father. Oh, you're so small. I'm afraid it's going to break under you. Okay, it's rocking. Yep. <laughs> I, I just, I just felt it coming. Oh, oh, you've, you've done this a few times before. Uh, it'll work one day. Hmm. This was your wife. That's her. North Star, and she'll always be looking down on us. It helps her to know mother's there. Aww, his kids are so sweet. So what was in the mail? Recruits. Peter Cuppen joined the Continentals. He's 17, a year younger than I. Well, the assembly's been convened, so I've been called to Charlestown. Town. We're going to Charlestown? We are. We leave in the morning. Oh, they're excited. They're so excited. Aww. They're huge. What have you been feeding them? Well, they're from good stock. On their mother's side, mm -hmm. of course. Oh? Oh, is there going to be something between them at some point? Oh, oh, oh there's absolutely going to be something between them. <laughs> the daughter does not approve. She's still not talking? No. Miss Howard, isn't it? You know who I am, Gabriel Martin. The last time yeah. you saw me, I was 11, and you put ink in my tea. Oh, oh, and she remembers. And it turned my teeth black for a month. For a month? 
Oh, yeah. and we must you better apologize. We are citizens of an American nation, and our rights are being threatened by a tyrant 3,000 miles away. If you're asking me, am I willing to go to war with England? Well, then the answer is most definitely no. If your principles dictate independence, then war is the only way. It has come to that. I have seven children. Seven. My wife is dead. Now, who's to care for them if I go to war? Yeah, he's not going to do that, or he doesn't want to do it. This war, our children will learn of it with their own eyes, and the innocent will die with the rest of us. I will not fight. And because I will not fight, I will not cast a vote that will send others to fight in my stead. He cares so much about his kids. And he knows they've already lost their mother. 28 and 12, the levy pass! Do you intend to enlist without my permission? Yes, I do. Oh. I thought you were a man of principle. When you have a family of your own, perhaps you'll understand. When I have a family of my own, I won't hide behind them. Oh. Dear Thomas, Though many seasons have passed, it seems like only yesterday when we last saw each other in Charlestown. I received a letter from Aunt Charlotte telling me she had closed her home in Charlestown after the city fell. Here in the North, our campaign has been marked by defeat. Our losses have been grievous. Is he about to die? Oh gosh. I mean, he's writing a letter, so he's alive right now at least. Pray for me, but above all, pray for the cause. Your loving brother, Gabriel. Oh, this is what he was packing up at the beginning of the movie. What are you doing? Not shit, Thomas. When? 17. The war could be over by then. Oh, God willing. All right, 17. All right. He doesn't want that for his son. Father, what happened at Fort Wilderness? Put it away. Oh, oh, not gonna talk about it. I mean, maybe he'll open up about it at some point. Six pounders, lots of them. Oh, they're a long way off there. Most likely heading the other direction. I don't know. That sounds like they're getting closer. Oof. We're gonna have to fight them off. Won't father do that? They'll probably kill us men. And do Lord knows what to you women. Okay, you are too young to be saying these things. And you're smiling, oh my gosh. Is this? Son. Brother. <gasps> I really didn't expect it to be the son walking through the door. I have to get these dispatches to Hillsborough. You're in no position to ride. I can't stay here. It's not safe. For... <laughs> that was close. That's like right outside, right? Oh, that's right outside. Nothing could happen to these kids. Oh my gosh, they're in our front yard. Is it over? No. Lieutenant, have a detachment take our wounded to our surgeons of Winsboro. Yes, sir. Let it be known if you harbor the enemy, you will lose your head. Rebel dispatches, sir. Who carried this? No, are you I coming did, sir. forward? I was wounded. These people gave me care. They have nothing to do with the dispatches. Here's a spy. Hang him, put his body on display. Destroy the livestock. Save the, the horses livestock? the dragoons. This is a uniform dispatch rider. He cannot be held as a spy. Well, we're not going to hold it. We're going, going to, to hang kill it. kill him. Uh, Colonel. Father. You should not have said father. Uh, it's your son. By the rules of war. The rules of war. Would you like a lesson, sir, in the rules of war? Or perhaps your children will. Oh, my gosh. They're, they're children. Do something. Be quiet. You're going to do something. No, you. they're just going to kill you. They're going to kill you. Uh, Gabriel, run! Stop, Thomas! Wait! No! Oh. oh, and right in front of all of the kids. Right in front of everyone. Stupid boy. Oh, and he was so young. What, what did they say? He was 15? You just died in your arms. And in front of all of the smaller kids, too. <laughs> and you're about to lose your oldest son on top of all of this. All of you stay here. Jeez, over the course of one morning, you've lost your son. You're about to lose your oldest son. You've lost your house. Nathan, Samuel, I want you to hide in the fields with William and Susan. The 
we're not back by sunset, I want you to take him to your Aunt Charlotte's. Is that clear? Oh my gosh. They have all had to grow up so fast. I'll fire first. I want you two to start with the officers and work your way down. What did okay. I tell you fellas about shooting? Aim small, small, miss small. small. Aim small, miss small. Yeah, they've had to grow up so fast. We did it. Oh my gosh, you both did it. Oh my gosh, if any more of the kids die, I I can't handle this. Okay, these kids have really good aim. Good for you guys. Ah. Uh, are you about to throw that? Gosh. Okay, I, I'm, I'm glad that this whole family has good aim. These kids have seen way too much. Uh, it was mad. I couldn't really tell you who it was. I couldn't calm down. Now, 20 of His Majesty's soldiers are dead, and I need 20. to know wow. how. Were they militia? Were they regulars? No. I don't really remember how many. Just a man and his two boys. Sounds more like a ghost than a man. Yes, a ghost. This is Captain Wilkins. He was with the Loyalist Colonial Militia. Where do your loyalties lie? To king and country, sir. Well, those neighbors of mine who stand against England deserve to die a traitor's death, hmm? Ooh. Gates and the Continental Army are at Hillsborough. I'm joining up with them. I'm a soldier, it's my duty. Your duty is to your family. Gabriel! Thomas is dead. How many more have to die before you'll heed my word? Yeah, I don't think you're going to stop him. Well, will you be back, Father? I don't know. Tomorrow? No, no, not tomorrow. Not quite. Oh, I hope he does make it back to them. I hope he doesn't die. They've already lost so much. <laughs> are, are you running away from something? Oh. Oh, it's right outside. On such a beautiful day. Oh, 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 he caught up to you. No, going back. No, I didn't expect you would. That Gates is a damn fool. Going muzzle to muzzle with redcoats in open field. It's madness. Was ahead. <sighs> These rustics are so inept. Nearly takes the honor out of victory. Nearly. <laughs> and you're just laughing. It's a lost cause. So who's in command? I am. Then let's talk. What are my orders? Everyone in the room is shocked. We can keep Cornwallis in the south until the French arrive. They promised a fleet and 10,000 troops. Six months at the earliest. You actually trust the French to keep their word? Absolutely. The hero of Fort Wilderness, your reputation precedes you. Might I request, sir, that you transfer my son here under my command? Sir, no, I... No, that's done. Colonel, I've been a soldier now for two years. Could be a better service with the regulars. Where would you learn all that? Riding, shooting, scavenging? My father taught me. <laughs> <laughs> he also taught you every deer path and swamp trail between here and Charlestown, which is why he asked for your transfer. We'll put the word out. Start on the south side of the Santee. We'd cover more ground if we split up. Very well, Corporal. Oh, I didn't think he would let you out of his sight. I guess he trusts you. He's showing that he trusts you. His Majesty, like history, judges us not only by the outcome of the war, but the manner in which it was fought. We serve the crown, and we must conduct ourselves accordingly. These brutal tactics must stop. Do you understand, Colonel? Perfectly, my lord. You can't just kill them all. The South Carolina militia is being called up. I'm here to enlist every man willing. We are here to pray for the souls of those men hanging outside. How many times have I heard you speak of freedom at my father's table? Will you now, when you are needed most, stop at only words? Is that the sort of men you are? Hmm. He had a crush on you before, but now I think he's in love. Okay, I definitely thought he was going to die. Who's with us? Earlier on. 
and not the other brother. But maybe they'll have a happy ending by the end of this. Maybe they'll get married. I, I just want some happiness by the end of this. Look what your speech did. Aw. May I have permission to write Anne? Yes. You have permission to write me. Write her. All right, Anne, you can't die. And Gabriel, I think your name's Gabriel. Gabriel, you can't die either. You have to get married by the end of this. Are you sure this is the right place to recruit for a militia? God save King George! Oh. Yes, it's the right place. It's the right place. It show is. I think we came to the right place. <laughs> yes, you did. You are I'm not signing up. Like I believe no. you would. Not quite old enough. Nope. But his time will come. John Billings, I was hoping you'd turn up. There's a story going around about some 20 redcoats got killed by a ghost or some damn thing. He's the ghost. Aren't you a little old to be believing in ghost stories? <laughs> <laughs> Bad laugh. Are you melting, melting them down for bullets? These men, they're not the sort we need. They're exactly the sort we need. They fought this kind of war before. Am I one of that sort? Hell no. You're the sort that gives that sort a bad name. <laughs> <laughs> I really like your laugh. Oh, they came out of nowhere. Ah! Ah! We surrender! We surrender! Oh! These men were about to surrender! We are better men than that. What do you know about war? I know the difference between fighting for you a guys cult and to turn. Now we're just fighting amongst each other. In the future, full quarter will be given to British wounded and any who surrender. But who are you to give such an order? I know what you and your men did to my countrymen at Fort Wilderness. Oh. Every man here is free to come and go as he pleases. But while you're here, you will obey my command or I will have you shot. Oh, okay. Dog, shoot him! Just shoot the damn thing! Please don't. <laughs> that works. Thank you for not shooting the dogs. It's the personal correspondence of Lord Cornwallis. I say we drink the wine, eat the dogs, and use the papers for musket lighting. Eat the dogs? Eat the dogs? The dog is a fine meal. Uh -huh. Good heavens. <laughs> Good heavens indeed. If we win this war, a lot of things will change. They call this the new world. It's not. It's the same as the old. But we'll have a chance to build a new world. A world where all men are created equal under God. Sounds good. Lord Cornwallis knows more about warfare than we could hope to learn in a dozen lifetimes. And he knows it what's more. And perhaps that's his weakness. Pride's a weakness. Personally, yeah. I would prefer stupidity. Pride will do. In the horror, our supply ship appears to have arrived. Uh, Colonel Tavington thought it best to secure our arms and munitions first. They are being unloaded now. Oh. The beast took your dogs. And Fine animals. A gift from his majesty. I mean, I would be devastated if someone took my dog. I gotta understand that. There, there it is. There she blows. Oh, fireworks. No. Yeah. No, that's not. No, that's not. <laughs> that's not what's happening. <laughs> yeah, you might need a few more drinks after that. Mr. Howard? I've come to call on Anne. Of course you call yourself a man. Father, oh, stop it. Well, They're cute. Call on her. Mm. You needn't worry, Father. I, I think bundling bags are a wonderful tradition. I don't mind in the least. Is this to make sure he doesn't do anything to your daughter? Mm. It's very good. Oh, that's... <laughs> she got you back! <laughs> I hope it dyes your teeth for a month. Don't worry. I sew better than my mother did. Oh! <laughs> I think that is what the bag is for. I made this for you. Look after your mother. <laughs> Look at those teeth. <laughs> Shh, the teeth. Don't ask. <laughs> this road is closed. These wagons now belong to the Continental Army. Ready, arms! I think they have you surrounded. 
Yeah. Surrounded and outnumbered. Well, I advise you and your men to make way. Oh. 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 Okay. Well, when I said outnumbered, I take it back. Uh, they're learning to outsmart the ghost. Oh, you're going to help him. No. They have men over here too, though. I mean, it seems like they're truly surrounded. 22 are dead, 18 oh. wounded, 20 are missing. Trust me soon, my countrymen will arrive. The French army is- The hell with you. And the hell with the oh. French army. We got Benjamin Martin. We know what he done to the French. Wherever you go, men, buy you drinks because of what happened to Fort Wilderness. Strangers know more about you than I do. Oh, are you going to finally tell him? I, I kind of want to know. The French and the Cherokee had raided along the Blue Ridge. They'd killed all the settlers. We buried them all. What was left of them? We caught oh. up with them at Fort Wilderness. We took our time. We cut them apart. Slowly. Ooh. Piece Ooh. by piece. I could still hear their screams. That would haunt you the rest of your life. The eyes, tongues, fingers. We put in baskets. Sent them down oh. the ash load of the Cherokee. Soon after oh. the Cherokee broke their treaty with the French. That's how we justified. That's, that's a lot to um, hold on to. We were heroes. And men bought you drinks. And not a day goes by where I don't ask God's forgiveness for what I did. Oh, what is this? Did you carry him all this way? The British got 18 of our men at Fort Caroline. They're gonna be hung one at a time until they give up the rest of them. Oh my gosh, you carried him all that way. It was... Just one person coming back with the dogs. A civilian carrying a white flag. He has a pair of dogs with him. Mm -hmm. Great Danes. Yeah, you want the dogs and you know it. Now he'll listen because of the dogs. I mean, he brought your dogs back. That, that has to mean a lot to you. <laughs> We're just checking out your chair. We're just admiring the chair. I don't know your name. I'm a colonel with the Continental Army. My rank should be sufficient for now. You have in your possession certain belongings of mine, which I'd like to have returned to me. You have 18 of my men. I want them back. <laughs> We're going I, I to do listen have in on this. 18 criminals under sentence of death, but I, I hold no prisoners of war. If that's your position, 18 of your officers will have to die. Oh. Top of the ridge to your left, just below the tree line. Oh. He came prepared. Arrange the exchange, my lord. All right. Thank you, sir. Nice chatting with you. Oh. Oh. They want to go with him. <laughs> oh, look who it is. Oh. Release the prisoners. What is this? Prisoner exchange. He has eighteen of our officers. Who is he? I recognize. Is the commander of the militia, your ghost. Say that sort, kind no! of- No! If you harm him, you condemn our officers. Yeah. He's killed as many officers in the last two months. He has shown no aggression here, hence he cannot be touched. Don't make him show aggression. Oh, he's a- uh... Go! We are the ghost, are you? I remember you. And that farm, that stupid little boy. Don't do this. Don't do this. You killed his son. Did he die? You are awful. It's an ugly business doing one's duty, but just occasionally, it's a real pleasure. What is wrong with you? Before this war's over, I'm going to kill you. Yeah, I hope so. Soon. You are the worst. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <gasps> are the dogs going with you? Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> Oh, I mean, they're taking care of them. <laughs> oh, that's kind of satisfying. Oh, they didn't. Oh, what? I did not see that twist. Oh my gosh. They didn't even have their officers. One what? of our captured officers, my lord. Oh, what a twist. Oh, oh, they're going to want him dead. Woo. I want you to find that man. I can capture him for you, but to do so requires the use of tactics that are somewhat brutal, I think. You're going to give him permission to do that? 
When this war is over here in the colonies, the new aristocracy will be landowners. You're going to give him land? And a lot of it, I imagine? Tell me about Ohio. Oh, okay. All of Ohio? Okay. The plantation, seven miles from Wakefield, on the Santee, east of Black Swamp. Who lived there? Benjamin Martin. Does he have family? Where would he hide his children? Oh no, don't go after the kids. Oh, he's absolutely going after the kids. His wife's sister has a plantation. No! It's not far. No. You can't fight all of them off. Wake up, someone's coming. Get the boys. Is there a place you can, I mean, I was gonna say, is there a place you can hide? But I, I mean, they would search the house. We'll go downstairs to the kitchen. Marker, quick, get down there, fast. But I assume he would want them alive as hostages. I mean, I don't know. Maybe he would just kill them. It's going to hear that. There's no one in the house, sir. Search the outbuildings in the woods quickly. Yes, sir. I feel like he knows he's under the table. Where did he go? Oh. Good thinking, kid. Oh my gosh, that scene was so stressful. Abraham, where's father? Shh. He's still protecting you. They won't stop looking for us. You'll be safe where we're taking you. Where is father? Could you just speak? <laughs> Speaking for months now. He'll come and see you as soon as he can. Oh, I hate it. I hate oh. him, and I hope he never comes back. Oh, Susan. It's the children. Abigail! <laughs> You're lying! She spoke. Yeah. Susan talked to, to you? Yeah, she doesn't like you, though. What did she say? You, mm, you don't really want to know. That she loves you and uh, misses you, but she understands why you can't be there with her. Yeah, that's exactly what she said. Cappington has a list of our men. He's burning our homes, killing whomever resists. Seven homes along the Santee so far. And he's going to go after his family. I mean, they all are. Are they? Are they both dead? John, John, this is not a time for vengeance. <laughs> this is a time for mourning. No, 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 no! Attend to your families. One week furlough for all men. Any man who does not return will not be thought a coward or uncommitted to. Oh. Papa! Father! Meg! Father! 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 <laughs> no, she's not going to him. Susan? No. What are you going to say to him? Oh, that's so sad. Because of course, like, he's doing everything he can to protect his kids. Father, what changed you? Well, that's simple. It was your mother. A woman can have a strange effect on a man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he knows that now. You once said, when I had a family of my own that I'd understand, you were right. You're trying to tell me something. Wait, is he, is he saying that she's pregnant? Is he saying that she's pregnant? Congratulations. And Patricia Howard, will you have this man to be your husband to live in the covenant of marriage? I will. I will. I now pronounce you man and wife. Cute. Now I'm a little afraid though, because I assumed maybe, hopefully, it would end in a wedding. So I'm just afraid that we're having this happy moment and then he's gonna die. I have something for you. It belonged to Gabriel's mother. Oh, it's beautiful. I'd be honored. May I sit with you? It's a free country. I'm not my sister. I, I know that. Very well then. And they have their love story, too. Hmm. This is really sweet and happy. I'm just afraid something's going to ruin this. In front of the kids? Scandalous. Goodbye, Susan. Goodbye. Just one more to tell I want. Oh. All right. Oh, that's heartbreaking. Are you going to run after him? Papa! Papa, go! Say anything! We want 
Do you want me to say all this? Please don't Susan, go. Susan, Susan. I promise. I'll come back. You know, you make me very happy. Oh, I'm... Oh. I'm really glad we're having this moment. So glad that she ran after him. I mean, like, leaving them is already hard enough, but... Like, at least we have this moment together. Everyone's been requested to gather at the church. Colonel Tavington wishes to address the whole village. Are you going to just kill them all? Was it necessary to ride in here on your horse? Was that necessary? This town was given aid to Benjamin Martin and his rebels. You're going I to wish kill to know his all whereabouts. Of them. Anyone who comes forward may be forgiven their treason. I don't trust you at all. This man gives Martin and his men supplies. Quiet. He brings them to Black Swamp. He's a liar. You damn In the marsh fool. by the old Spanish mission. No. Shut the doors. We're going but to kill you said them all. We'd be forgiven. And indeed you may. That's between you and God. And you just gave them up. Wait, so Gabriel's wife is going to die? I thought Gabriel would die before she would. Burn the church, Captain. Maybe he'll save them. I don't know. Give me the torch. <laughs> you're gonna do it. Oh, you're doing it. The honor is found in the end, not the means. This will be forgotten. Come on. They save them. Someone. Oh my gosh, they truly all died. I really thought that maybe that guy would have a change of heart and save them. Because he knew it wasn't the right thing to do. Your wife, her family, everyone. I'm still like kind of holding hope for a plot twist where maybe they did save everyone and they're just they just haven't showed it yet. They're not they're not here. You know what happened. Ah they did not save them. Necklace. Ah. Gabriel's gone. Is Gabriel about to die too? I'm really worried for you, Gabriel. Ugh. <laughs> but he isn't fired yet, right? So that's ready to go. I'm afraid someone's still alive, though, and it's going to get Gabriel. <laughs> no. No. <sighs> ah, this can't be happening. I... So bad that you're still fine. I'll take care of you. You're going to be all right. I'm sorry about Thomas. Oh, son, that wasn't your fault. That was mine. You're going to be all right. You're... Gabriel, don't. Yeah. So now two of your sons have died in your arms. I hope you bury him. I'll bury him. Benjamin, nothing will replace your sons. But if you come with us, you can justify their sacrifice. I have long feared that my sins would return to visit me. And the cost is more than I can bear. Stay with us. Stay the course. I have run my course. You did bury him yourself? Well, that's what he was working on. Hmm. The flag that the sun was working on was the one that he ends up holding and flying. Uh, I feel like Gabriel is like still giving them hope because he's the one that was repairing the flag. The flag that the other guy at the beginning said was beyond repair, essentially. Mm, Gabriel. Cornwallis's own letters bear out that he has no respect for the militia, none whatsoever. What are you suggesting, Ben? I'm suggesting we use that. He did talk about how his pride would be his downfall, would be a weakness. Is that the last one? The last bullet? Ooh, I wonder if this will be the bullet to kill what's-his-face. 
the one to end it all. Ooh, oh, this is gonna be a big battle. Will you give this to my children? Can't I? I won't allow it. You have to be reunited with your kids. You've already lost so much. They've already lost so much. It's October now. It's more than 12 months. You're a free man. I'm here now on my own accord. I'm honored to have you with us. Thank you. Showing him the respect he deserves. Hmm. Oh, it's getting closer. As I'm dreaming. I believe I see militia forming at their center. Mac Runner! Take it! Gosh. Prepare to charge! Sir, we haven't been given that order. Oh, he does not care. He's gonna do whatever he wants. He wants to kill the ghost himself. Bandit charge. We'll see who takes the glory from this field. Send the entire battalion over that hill and crush them. It ends today. Maybe they have a, a plan after retreating. I don't know. Is this the plan? Have a hidden oh, army? Now they're ready to go. The line is faltering. Retreat! Retreat! No retreat. Well, he's going to carry the flag himself. Artillery, concentrate on the center. Drive them back. Oh, now they're if we retreating. reform and wheel right, we may be able to turn their flank. You dream, General. Oh, oh, he's coming after you. Oh. It is the last bullet. Oh, it is that last bullet. This is the moment. Oh, are you kidding me? Dang it, that blast really messed you up. Oh, he still has that. Oh, oh, come on. Can we just be done with this? Okay, we love a little headbutt. Oh, no, no, oh my gosh. I thought he was going for his head. We kind of need that. Oh. Can we get him already? Is he going to die right as they win? Or maybe that'll give him the final strength he needs? Kill me before the war is over, will you? It appears you are not the better man. No, no. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're right. My sons were better men. <laughs> and you killed them both. Sound the retreat. Sound! Retreat! Oh, you didn't expect that, did you? Dear Charlotte, the war has turned. Tell the children, and especially Susan, that I will keep my promise. And especially as I will be Susan. To you all. Uh, your wife's expecting a child soon, isn't she? She gave birth to a son three weeks ago. Ah. Go see your son. What'd you name him? Benjamin. We named him Gabriel. Oh, Gabriel. Oh. Oh, you still have the dogs. Have they been rebuilding your home? Gabriel said if we won the war, we could build a whole new world. Well, Just figured we'd get started that. right here with your home. <laughs> Sounds good. Oh, yeah, we can start there. Hmm. Oh, this was so good. Okay, this movie surprised me. I mean, I went into this knowing that it was a war movie. And so I, I was expecting a lot of heartbreak and a lot of gruesome moments. So, I mean, we definitely got that. There were so many heartbreaking moments. I mean, with 
I mean, starting out early on, that second son dying in his arms, and then later on, Gabriel dying, and I don't know, I mean, so much of it was heartbreaking. Uh, the every, That whole town burning inside the church. So many moments were so heartbreaking, but I also am so surprised with how warm it felt, and like so, there were so many tender moments as well, and we had a few romance stories, and there was comedy throughout as well, so it was... It was enjoyable to watch because it wasn't just, I mean, it's a long movie, but it wasn't just two and a half hours of like crazy heavy moments. It like it was very balanced and really enjoyable to watch. And I think also like there was really tender moments, especially like it really set up the beginning with the kind of person that Benjamin was and how how important his family is to him and just like the peaceful life that he had starting out and then everything kind of changed. So because they really set up all of those sweet, tender moments, they really set up like the family dynamic. It just makes all of those heartbreaking moments so much harder to watch. So yeah, I was just really surprised by the tone of this. Obviously, so heartbreaking, so many heavy moments, but I really enjoyed a a few laughs here and there. The romance between Benjamin and, is it Charlotte? I think that's her name. There's a little romance there. And of course, Gabriel and his wife, until it all was torn down, but we're not going to talk about that. I I really enjoyed this. I, I It really surprised me. The ending there where they are rebuilding the house and rebuilding a better world. I don't know. It just like, it feels very hopeful and tender and warm. And even though it was so heartbreaking throughout so much of the movie, I feel like I'm left on a hopeful note, which I really enjoyed. So, wow. I mean, everyone was just so great in this movie. The performances of I mean everyone I mean Mel Gibson is so great Heath Ledger is so great even Jason Isaacs I mean he plays a bad guy so well I mean like he was so great in his role I mean you just like love to hate him he he does so well at playing really hateable characters I don't know but everyone was just phenomenal of course John Williams did the music and that just helped propel the story and just give you those waves of, of emotions throughout the movie so uh This one's so well done. And I don't know, I'm kind of left on a little hopeful note. Well, this was The Patriot. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and we will see you next time.